All right, everybody. Uh, we started off the year like this, the regular season, or starting off the postseason like yep, this. Exactly. Three we people. Got, we got Mui back on. All hey, right. Hello, everybody. How's it going? We told you we'd have him on again during the regular season, but, I mean, it we just have him on now. It was too, it didn't pan out, it was too hard to get the schedules lined exactly. up. He's a busy guy, so. Very busy, very busy. Uh, let's see. First week of the playoffs, we got wild card weekend. We got uh, on Saturday at 435, we got Tennessee at Kansas City. Um, I'm going Kansas City. I'm going Kansas City. I uh, Kansas City as well. Kansas, yeah. City. Yeah, Kansas City, I think, is just an overall better team. Like, I think the Titans kind of just they had to win to get in yesterday, and like yeah, Kansas City already had it wrapped up. Like, Kansas City, I will say, they started off so hot, and I was like thinking they're going to be the best thing ever. And then they, they got in a slump, and I'm starting to think like it's going to go one of the two ways. And I think if they get hot, they, they can beat anybody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I really believe that, especially Kansas City, if they uh they get hot at the right time. They can make a Super Bowl run because they got a bunch of explosive players in the Very offense. Explosive. There's no answer for Tyreek Hill, I don't think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and they got Green Hunt as a good foundation, and they have a quarterback that doesn't do turnovers and a good defense. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just everything you want. Yeah, I you think know. it's pretty easy. Like, I hate to say it because I don't mind the Titans. but I like the Titans, though. Yeah, yeah. Titans, have a, they have a young team. Now, but they could pull that up. Definitely. Off, so it could happen. It could. But the next game, I wouldn't got, be shocked, but yeah. The next game, that night, Saturday night at 8-15, you got Atlanta at L.A., um, Who's going LA? I am. Uh, LA yeah. all the way. I, I think, think, yeah. I we, think we, it, we won't do this the whole time. We will not have whole splits. I think Atlanta kind of just barely squeaked in. Uh, mm-hmm. They played. They played okay all season. They played good enough. I mean, they played good enough to get in the playoffs. So they, right they there, managed the Super Bowl hangover yeah. pretty well overall. But I think I LA's say. just with Todd Gurley and Jared Goss playing really good, and they're too high powered. It's too too much going on there. Way too much. Yeah, Atlanta definitely has been had a lot of struggle this season, but uh, the Rams have been. They have. They have had struggle. They have. They, they, they've struggle. showed they can play a good defense. And the Rams do have who I think is the MVP. Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. Him or him or I, I think you can make an argument for Carson Wentz, but I think it should be Todd Gurley. It just killed Carson Wentz when he got hurt. Like it's, I just it's feel sad. Like, that, um, it's sad that they take that into fact into you know, but it's. Yeah, you're right. I just feel like getting done, like just saying, like people have been saying Tom Brady is just lazy. Like that's just like, that's oh, lazy. well, there's not a clear cut winner. We'll just give it to him, like we always do. Like I think you should yeah. give it to Todd Gurley. Uh, but so everybody got LA. Yeah, I think uh, I think LA's yeah. offense is just like almost unstoppable. Yeah, it is. And the Falcons have an okay defense, but it, they don't have like the best defense ever. Uh, moving on to Sunday, uh, normal time, one o'clock. You got uh, Buffalo at Jacksonville. Well, Sean McCoy hurt his ankle yesterday. Sprained his ankle pretty bad. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You don't, think the bills, you don't think so? The, the, the Bills wouldn't win no matter what, so no. <laughs> oh. it makes no difference. Oh, okay. I thought, you meant, I thought you meant the Bills were going to win. Oh, no. I was like, dude, you know that Sean McCoy. I know he just said it, but like, you know how much he does for yeah. that <laughs> That defense of the Jaguars yeah. is just I think, I think, I think Jalen Ramsey is the best corner in the league. Mm-hmm. I don't know who agrees with me. Yeah, I, 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 think, I can see that. I, I, think, see that. I, think, I think the Jags just had a really off day playing Tennessee yesterday. Like, I think they lost yesterday, but I think it was just like, everybody's got to have a bad game at some point. They had two, actually, but I think that doesn't really matter. I think they they kind of realize that they're clinch and like they are kind of a young team so I think they kind of like haven't you know you got some guys that haven't like went this long like in a season maybe so I think they'll probably kind of start getting it rolling. The, the Jags are a young team and I think what's really going to help them they have a really good defense but Blake Bortles he's not very good but uh they're he, undefeated. he has confidence right they're now. They're undefeated. Yeah. So that's what's that's what's good about I mean he's been better like I saw some number it was like he's been better over the last five weeks than Tom Brady and like most Categories, believe mm-hmm. it or not. Like, wow. Well, they said this. They said just a minute ago that he's un, they're undefeated when he doesn't throw an interception. So as long wow. as he doesn't throw a pick, they win games. Plus, if you're a defense, I know you can screw up a lot of times and throw some interceptions. But like from a defensive standpoint, you have to be sitting there like we have no idea what we're getting with this guy. Like, yeah, yeah. he could have a hot game, and then they already have a good run game and an awesome defense. Um, Absolutely. So Jags all the way. Jags definitely. All right. Well, before we do this next game. Ooh. We got a little background. We got uh, yeah. obviously on the two ends here. We got two Panthers fans. Very oh, yeah. obvious. I, I should have brought my uh, my. Uh, we got Saints. We got Saints fans here. He's who that nation and all that. That's so, right. Absolutely. And absolutely. he was before they even won the Super Bowl. Trust me. Yeah. Way before. Way before. Way before. He, he liked him in the in the yeah. days where it was not easy to like him. No bandwagoner over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, this is going to be probably the one to spend the most time on. Uh, Sunday at four forty, you got Carolina at New Orleans. Um, I think we can go ahead and say this is the toughest division in yep. football. Not yeah. even, not well, even. All that BS it. about they're the weakest division in football. That was one year, people like. They not were it's always yeah. been a good. It's not division. even questionable. It's a we've new had, year. we've had new the year. Super Bowl representative and the league MVP the past two years. I mean, if Drew Brees, if Drew Brees trails his team through the playoffs like it's nobody's business, they've already put him in the talks. I think Camara should be in the talks. There's a possibility yeah. we could have the Super Bowl. 
Super Bowl representative and the MVP three years in a row. Like, it's very possible. Very, very. I so, think Kamara makes – he looks like the guy who thinks the NFL is easy, and it is for him. It is. It's very easy for him. <laughs> Kamara, yeah, he's a rookie. We know he's a third-round rookie. He's, he's way better it's than It's too easy else. for him. I, I'm kind of going to pick the Saints because I think he's I'm just going to run all over. Yeah, Kamara definitely adjusted well, and uh, – with the Saints' run game being well this year, I really think that uh, Drew Brees has 71, I think, completion passing percentage. Yeah, I think and so. And that's a new NFL best, actually. So I think wow. whenever you have a quarterback that's doing something <laughs> oh like gosh. that yeah. and a run game that's killing it like that. And their defense Seriously. is good. I mean, they got good corners. They have a pretty decent, like, linebacker group. And I just, oh, yeah, oh it's a nightmare. Yeah, they took A.J. Klon from the Panthers and turned him into a, what we knew he was the whole time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Could go to any other team and start. He was just playing mm -hmm. behind Keekly. Like, that was yeah. his only problem. I wish we would have kept him somehow and, felt, like, found something for him. Yeah. Because now yeah. he's on the Saints. He's going to make his pay. Exactly. But I agree. I think, I think this run game is just, this, I, I don't think, it really can be stopped. Like, if it can be stopped, I think the Panthers have the best chance in the NFL at it. Maybe the Jags, but uh, I think the Panthers, but I don't think they can stop it. I think Lattimore's going to be all over Funchess, and I think he's has uh, he's had a lot of trouble adjusting to, like, being a number one receiver. He was a really good compliment to Kelvin Benjamin. It's easy to say he was outplaying Kelvin Benjamin when he's getting, like, their number two guy and not getting doubled as much. But I think, like, when he has Lattimore all over him, it's going to be kind of a – And gonna take him out of the and game. And the Panthers right? are – Struggling at receiver right oh, now. Oh, definitely, absolutely. They're gonna have him punch his double all day long. They are struggling. Because who else are you gonna cover? I mean, there's no. Yeah. You can I just mean, put whoever on. Bird's out for the season. Mm -hmm. Sterling Shepard's week to week getting hurt. Funch's shoulder is not 100. percent I mean, it's Olsen okay, looks. But, he doesn't look like Olsen at all. Yeah, we are. He still has time to needs to get back in his groove a little bit. Yeah, yeah he's, he's out there kind of playing rusty right now. And then you got it's like rough. McCaffrey even was dropping yesterday. I never thought I'd say that. And then you got. I don't know. Some of the weird play calls yesterday and everything. I do. Well, I will say though, the Panthers will not look like how they looked yesterday. They're. I don't know. They won't look that bad. Everybody yeah. ever reacts like the same thing with the Saints. Like they, they, they're not playing for anything. No, not at all. And then uh, I think when the Panthers come into New Orleans this coming up week, I really think that uh, it's going to be difficult for the Panthers to hear and to do anything. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. And that's going to be a huge factor coming in late in the game. And it's not like two years ago where it was like, all right, we don't need to hear. We'll just run the ball. Yeah. Like, we just don't have the same run game. It's not, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not the same. It's, you you got to – Cam's, like, finally getting to the point in his career where, like, he's changing the play at the line of scrimmage more. Like, he's doing a lot more when he can't hear. I mean – Yep. So I will say I think Cam will run a ton, though. He has absolutely. to. Yeah. The games that he doesn't run, we get absolutely torn up. I think think it's, it's crunch time right now for the Panthers in the playoffs, and I think Cam takes off a lot. Oh, yeah. And he, he takes these hits, he, and he goes through some people. 60 it's yards. 60 I'm good at 60. I'll do, I'll do 50. I, I honestly think about 70. I think, <laughs> because none of the Saints, they can't tackle very well. well. And by the way, <laughs> Marshall, yeah, we're going to be all this. By the way, Cam... As of yesterday, I mean, he set his single season rushing record yesterday. People don't mm. know. I mean, he yes, like this season, he had the most rushing yards he's ever had in a single it's season. It's just coming for him now. That's how it is. Like I remember, yeah. I remember all, all those people were like, oh, Cam Newton, he won't be running like this in year two and three. Yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. Gonna, I was one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> he's the, he's the angel wonder when it comes to running the football. Like mm. you can't say he's not. Like it's no. I will say I, I'm giving the Saints like a sixty percent chance of winning, which means I do think the Panthers can pull it off. They can pull it off. Definitely. I think they can. I think all it would take is if they like if they had Cam come out, have a good drive. He starts running it. He's having fun. He kind of silences the crowd. The play mm -hmm. action's working. You know, they kind of like does his little routine where he doesn't need good receivers because they do literally everything except throw it to the receivers. Yeah. <laughs> I think they can do it. They, they, and, they thought McCaffrey, they let McCaffrey run, Stewart run, and yeah. Cam run. Like, and then also, there was no pass rush against the Falcons. No. I think if he could get like Tony Peppers hot and he gets like a sack early, I think it could be. I think whoever kind of starts off good is going to If they could find a way, and if they could just find a way to shut Kamara down, but that's the problem. Like, it's I impossible, just, I'm pretty sure. It's impossible. Yep. Yeah, I'm almost certain it's impossible. I'm pretty nope. sure you get a Pro Bowl defense, and it would still be impossible. I mean, I was seeing him make, like, Luke Keekley was just missing tackles like he didn't know. Like, he was on skates against that kid. Like, yeah, it's it's like, unbelievable how that's, quick Kamara like, we're talking is. About, we're talking about the guy who could go down as the best linebacker of all time in a rookie's Putting him on skates, like I mean, they what, won. Like, what's they going, won. Yeah, like, what's going <laughs> that on? That dude, like he, he's not just like a pure running back. He does. He's like McCaffrey, but he's just like way he can better. Catch like, well as, as well, and he can. He's so good. Like he, good. he can catch. He can run, and it's not like oh, he can kind of do both. Like he can do both at a elite level, and then he returns kickoffs. He took mm -hmm. one to the house yesterday. Yeah, and absolutely the uh, kickoff that he had, I loved it. It, it took Le'Veon Bell to a whole other level. Yeah, it's With like Le'Veon Bell's patient runner. Oh and, yeah. Uh, Kamara took that to another level doing on the kickoff, yeah. hesitating. 
It's and actually crazy. stopping and then waiting and then taking golf fair like about what? 100? I hope he, it was a, one, one, of three. one of three. One of three, yeah. I hope That's he has a lot. tremendous career. Like, I really hope he has a great like, career. Like, yeah, he's going to be a nightmare for the division for a long time. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, when he had that concussion, I'm like, this is the only thing that can stop him. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. it. The, <laughs> concussion, <laughs> the, concussion. the concussion protocol now is the only thing stopping Camara. If it's not broken leg, I'm not sure it can stop him. And it's I'm crazy because, sure. the, like, the Saints have a really bright future, like, I would say. Because it used mm-hmm. to be, like, Drew Brees, how much can he carry the team? Like, I think playoff time is going to be scary because it's been a run game based run offense all year. When you get to the point where Drew Brees can actually start gunslinging a little bit yeah. when he hasn't had to the whole year, it's going to be really dangerous because you know he can still do it. It's just like he hasn't had to. Yeah, Drew Brees is an old man right now, and he has receivers that are, like, just kind of straight out of college. So he got some 20-some-year-olds out there, so he's pretty much living through them, and that's kind of how he's – Staying kind of healthy himself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think Michael Thomas is going to be an absolute nightmare for mm-hmm. us also. And yeah, Michael Thomas actually he has a uh, he has the most receptions in the first two years by any player actually. He's Michael Thomas is a real yeah. deal. Yeah. I think he's Absolutely. like the third down master. Like every time it's like third and ten, I'm like I really don't feel like it's going to be a problem. He will go up and get it no matter what. There's nobody who can cover him. I have a nobody. Absolutely nobody. Who's our other receivers? You got um, Ted Ginn. You mm-hmm. got. Um, Oh, what's that guy's name? The run game's been so heavy, I can't even... Yeah, exactly. It, it's Drew Brees distributes the receivers that have no names. That's yeah, how great pretty he pretty much gives the ball to them. And, like, Zach, like, Sneed, we haven't heard about him much, but he he progresses and he gets... Yeah, Willie Sneed. Willie Sneed. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The Panthers used to have him, too, for mm-hmm. a while. Man. But, yeah, this is going to be a crazy wild card weekend. It though. is, absolutely. Well, you picking the Saints? Um... Who are you guys picking? I'm, pick the I'm picking the Saints. You guys are both picking the Saints? Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. I'm, I'm picking the Saints. Uh, I don't want to feel like I'm that guy picking my own team. No, we, we do it. But, uh, we do it all the time, but like we don't do it every time. But if I want to make one key point, the reason I'm picking the Saints is one person, and that's Marcus Lattimore. Yeah, I think he's going to Or Marshawn Lattimore. I think he's just going to get punches out of the game, and then it's like, all right, can all those other no-name guys put together every... And Bar- no. Barson's not... He's an, I, I hate it, but he's not going to step up. Person will not step up. Yeah, he needs to, but I don't think he'll have like, a couple of cl- like close he'll have a couple catches. little good catches, and he'll be like, "Oh, here he goes, he's yeah, stepping couple, up," and then like, drops, yeah, come, and then he's yeah, like, "Come mm-hmm. on, man!" Like, and Russell Shepard is really clutch sometimes, but sometimes if he starts off the game cold, I think it's like they just don't throw to him anymore. And then he, mm-hmm. he had like a drop like a couple weeks ago, and they had another one, and then he like I don't know. It's just and I think at, at any given moment, this Panthers uh, team is set up that if Cam. Does Cam and willing to take the beating, they can go to the Super Bowl. Absolutely. If he's willing to take the beating. Absolutely. But that's that's a beating I don't think he's willing to take. I agree. I think if, if Cam, like I said earlier, if he comes out there and it, it, he has a good run and then he makes a couple of completions and yeah. he gets that like yeah. third down and short. If he comes out and does Cam, then we'll be fine. It's mm-hmm. just, you know, I don't know. It's simple if you're the Saints defense. Like, it's just like... Everyone's get all Cam. over Cam. Blitz stop them Cam all day long. They don't have the speed to make us pay for it. Yeah, stop Cam Newton. Just stop him. Point of emphasis for the New Orleans Saints this week is wrap up and tackle. That's it. Just wrap up and tackle. We'll be fine. That's you it. hear it we'll straight from the right? Wrap up and tackle. Just watch. We won't. It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Kamara right. might have to go there and play lineup of defense. Maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Well, that is the uh, wild card week in the NFL season. So, first yep. week playoffs. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. This will be on the podcast if you... You know, if you want to hear it again or something you don't want to watch it on YouTube, go check it out on the podcast. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you next time. And follow Mooey on Twitter. Yeah, Absolutely. follow Mooey on Twitter. It. Follow me. Uh, I yeah. don't remember my ad name. We'll put a link. Something. We'll, yeah. we'll look it up. We'll, look it up. <laughs> we'll put it like, where's my, where's my little, we'll put it like right above my head somewhere. Yeah, we'll somewhere right somewhere over here. Yeah, yeah. somewhere. Right. So we'll put it right there. So we'll thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. All right, see you guys.